Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's lesson is a chemistry lesson and I'll be teaching you on the topic known as concentration. So concentration is quite a confusing topic but I'll try my level best to explain so that you understand if you are interested to understand what concentration is. So basically concentration is the measure of the amount of a solute dissolved in a solvent to form a solution. So for example, if we have 250 particles of sugar dissolved in 100 liters of water, the concentration of the sugar solution formed can be measured as follows. So we can say concentration is equal to uh, amount of solute divided by volume of a solvent. In this case, a solvent is a substance that dissolves. So in this case, we have 250 particles of sugar dissolved in 1 liter, 100 liters of water. So in this case, our sugar is the solute. And then a solvent is a substance in which a solute dissolves. So in this case, since the sugar particles dissolves in water, so water is the solvent. Let's look at how now we can find the concentration. So in this case, what we are going to say is that if concentration is equal to amount of solute, in, in our question, the amount of solute we have is 250 particles. So where we are saying amount of solute, which is 250 particles of sugar, uh, we'll write 250 particles of sugar as the amount then divided by the volume of a solvent. So in this, in this question, we have 100 liters of water. So the volume is 100 liters. So what we are going to do is to divide 100 in, into 250, which will give us concentration is equal to uh, 2.5. So what we are going to do is to put particles in then per liters so that will be the concentration for this example here so let's look at the next um, uh, illustration uh, this example can be illustrated diagrammatically as follows so if we have a beaker here and we put water in it then afterward we put sugar particles in it like that so let's assume how many particles we have here we have 16 particles and let's say um, uh, if the water is 10 liters and the particles of sugar dissolved in it uh, are 16 then concentration is going to be equal to uh, the amount of particles which is 10 particles divided by volume which will be uh, 10 liters so in this case we'll say concentration is equal to 10 into 16 which will be 1.6 particles per liter so this is in a simple term basically in chemistry now we define concentration as follows so concentration is defined as the amount of moles of a solute per unit volume of solution so you see in chemistry where we say the amount of a uh, substance or solute in here now we are specifying what that amount is so it is the amount of moles so we are talking of the amount of moles of a solute per unit volume of a solution so that is what basically it is concentration in chemistry and the formula remains the same c is equal to n over v where this c is concentration of solution in more per cubic decimeters which is more per cubic decimeters as the units so these are the units for concentration then n is the number of moles of solute in more as the units so the units are the more here for n then uh, v is volume of solution in a cubic decimeter so cubic decimeter is the uh, unit of volume commonly used when calculating concentration so concentration sometimes is known as molarity so concentration is also known as molarity when concentration is also known as molarity when a solution contains one more of a solute dissolved in one liter of the solution so for example 
or if you have one more of a substance then it is dissolved in one liter then such a concentration we call it molarity all right so such a solution is called molar solution so yeah so that concentration is called molarity and also a solution in which one more of a solute dissolves in one liter of a solution we call that kind of a solution molar solution so let's continue a bit uh, and then look at an example so before we look at an example if you are learning something in this video please give it a like and also let me know in the comment section so let's look at this example the example says what is the concentration of sodium carbonate when 10 grams of the solid is dissolved in a 2 cubic decimeter of solution so they are asking us to to calculate or to find the concentration of sodium carbonate when 10 grams of the solid is dissolved in 2 cubic decimeters of solution so in putting our answer, we'll say answer, then the first thing we, we are going to do is let's write our formula. Concentration is equal to number of moles divided by volume. So from here, we are going to gather information on data that we must substitute in this formula to find the concentration because C is concentration, N is number of moles, V is volume. So we need to have number of moles, volume, to find the concentration so according to the information given we have concentration is what we are asked to find here then we have volume we are given volume here we are told dissolved in two cubic decimeter so this is the volume then what else we need to know the number of moles number of moles we don't know it so is it possible that we can find the number of moles? Yeah, it is possible because we are given mass here. So from a mass, it is possible. So we have mass. So mass can help us to do what? To find the number of moles because we have a formula that relates mass to the number of moles. And this formula is number of moles is equal to mass divided by molar mass all right so if you want to understand uh, how to, uh, to 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 find the number of moles the molar mass and everything i did a video on introduction to more concept you can click on the link appearing here to watch the video okay so what we are going to do now here is to make sure that we understand this formula which says any number of moles is equal to mass which is actually this one over molar mass. So what would be the molar mass? The molar mass for the substance whose concentration we are trying to calculate. In this case, we want to find the concentration of sodium carbonate. So it's the molar mass of sodium carbonate that we are going to find. So in the same video that you will click here, you find that it will enable you also to know how to find the molar mass so number of moles must be given by mass which is this one divided by molar mass of sodium carbonate so the formula for sodium carbonate is na2 which is sodium carbonate then what we are going to do is to get the the atomic mass for sodium from the periodic table which is 23 the atomic mass for carbon which is uh, 12 then the atomic mass for oxygen which is 16 so what now we are going to do to calculate uh, the molar mass of uh, sodium carbonate is to add these uh, atomic masses like as as shown so like this we have uh, since we have a two here it means we have two atoms of uh, sodium times 23 plus we get this one 12 we only have one carbon so it will be just 12 plus then uh, open brackets we have uh, three atoms of uh, oxygen times 16 which is the relative atomic mass for oxygen so we close so when we evaluate this our answer becomes 0 0.2 i mean 106 grams per mole so this one is the molar mass which we are going to substitute in this one so we'll say number of moles is equal to uh, mass which is 10 grams divided by molar mass 
which is this value here 106 grams per mole then what we are going to do is to cancel out the units that appear on the numerator and denominator then what will remain now is number of moles is equal to so we'll get 10 divided by um, uh, 106 which will be 0 0.0943 more so now this will be now the number of moles which we would have found so now we know the number of moles so we'll get this value and replace it here and the volume we already have and place it here so the concentration is equal to uh, this value 0 0.09843 divided by then you have uh, 2 cubic decimeter then we'll divide uh, 0 0.0943 divided by uh, I mean 0 0.0943 more divided by 2 cubic decimeter our answer will be 0 0.0943 um, uh, more per cubic decimeter alright so if you are finding value in this video please consider giving it a like and if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing to support the channel thank you very much so or the value will be 0 0.05 uh, uh, molarity as another unit which represents this more per cubic decimeter can be re replaced also with capital M and in this question I've actually rounded this to one decimal place so let's go to the next question so the next question example 2 says uh, calculate the mass of sodium hydroxide in 500 cubic centimeters solution whose concentration is 0 0.2 more per cubic decimeter so when you have also like a decimeter with a negative 3 it means also more per cubic decimeter so in our answer here for example we can also begin with the data and notice what we are given so we have 500 cubic decimeter i mean centimeter what is this this is actually volume then also we have um which can also be converted to uh, 0 0.5 cubic decimeter so as i said when we are dealing with the concentration volume must be converted to cubic decimeter by an understanding that uh, 1000 cubic centimeters is equal to one cubic decimeter so in short if you want to convert uh, from cubic centimeters to cubic decimeter you get the value provided in centimeters you divide it by 1000 so 500 divided by 1000 this gives us 0 0.5 cubic uh, decimeter so this is what we are provided in the question so we are also provided with this here which is 0 0.2 two more per cubic decimeter so what is this one its concentration then we are also given the question which says calculate the mass so meaning we'll, we'll be looking for mass and we don't know what mass is but we must understand the formula or we must know the formula which must be used or which is used to calculate the mass so mass is found by number of moles is equal to uh, mass over molar mass so it is this mass actually here which we need to make the subject of the formula uh, to find the mass the question is asking us see, to calculate so but you must understand that uh, for us to be able to calculate uh, mass we must know the more the number of moles and also the molar mass so we know that uh, we don't have the number of moles here 
So number of moles in the equation is not provided and also molar mass is not provided. However, these when we check properly with the information we are given, we have these, we just need to calculate them. For example, we have volume and we have um, concentration here. So we know the formula which relates concentration and what? And uh, volume and the number of moles, which is the concentration formula that we previously used in the other question or in the first example. So molar mass can be found. The molar mass is of the substance they are asking us to calculate the mass. So this one can be found by first let's write the formula for sodium hydroxide which is Na of H. Then from there we'll get the atomic mass for sodium which is 23, for oxygen which is 16, for hydrogen which is 1. Then we are going to total this. So we'll say we'll, give, we'll get the answer as if 40 when we add 23 plus 16 plus 1. The answer will be 40 grams per mole as the molar mass. So the molar mass now we know it is 40 grams per mole. Then how we will we will how are we going to know the number of moles? We know number of moles can be found from this formula. Concentration is equal to number of moles over volume. So we can make number of moles the subject of the formula here. But before we do that, we can substitute. Concentration is equal to, um, yeah, we can make it now the number of, the, uh, we, we can make any the subject of the formula. So the concentration is equal to, uh, number of moles over a uh, volume then uh, for us to be able to make any the subject of the formula unless we make this side as a fraction as well so say c over one remember any value divided by um, one it is still that value so this one here hasn't changed this value here it is just helping us to form a fraction so that we can make any the subject of the formula. So what we are going to do is cross multiply here. So we'll say 1 times n which will be 1 equal to c times v which will be c times v. Then this will lead us to say number of moles is equal to we know c which is concentration 0 0.2 more per cubic decimeter then it times this times here volume we know it is 0 0.2 5 cubic decimeter so we write it there so definitely this and this will cancel then we'll multiply number of moles will be equal to when we multiply this value we'll get 0 0.1 more so we know the number of moles and we know molar mass now we can find the, the mass so we'll also make mass the subject of the formula as follows so we'll say n is equal to mass over molar mass then we'll say over one then we'll cross multiply a one times m which will be m equals any times mm which will be any times mm then we'll say equals i will replace where there's any or we'll put in this value here times this times where there's this we'll put this value here all right so then we we'll multiply first we cancel we cancel then we we'll say equals when we multiply 0 0.1 times 40 we'll get 4 grams this gram here remains and it will be there as our answer so thank you for watching my video if you enjoyed it once again give it a like subscribe if you haven't subscribed and also let me know what you think about the lesson in the comment section. I will really appreciate and I will respond to each and every comment made in the comment section. So please, thank you for watching. Bye. Peace.